Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, it's been a rough week for the Cowboys. Uh, you lose your franchise quarterback for several weeks as Jerry Jones, but he's got the optimism he could be back in three weeks, feeding us more BS. And um, offense looking like trash. And basically going from the best offense in the NFL to the worst in one offseason by their own design. Uh, questions being all over the place. Questions that we had, uh, even us YouTubers, going into the season where we got rid of people left and right. To pile on, we have a big matchup this weekend against uh, the AFC champions, Cincinnati Bengals, and one of our former players, Lyle Collins. Let's listen to what Lyle Collins had to say. He's basically fired shots at the Dallas Cowboys coaching staff. Uh, he's, a, he's a hell of a player, he's young. Um, he's got juice, he's got energy. You know, that defense kind of goes as, as he goes. And, um, you know, they looked into a lot of things with him. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I remember Micah coming in as a rookie and kind of helping him on his pass rush moves, telling him how to do certain things. So, um, from that standpoint, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a talented player. When last, when last season ended, did you think you'd be playing in Dallas this year? Um, I, honestly. I mean, you know, I thought about, you know, a lot of different things, you know, um, but to be back here with Frank and to, to get coached, you know, by, by, by a great offensive line coach, somebody that also played a position, um, some big, uh, you know, I got to that point in my career to where I felt like I wasn't getting the things that I needed. And uh, coming here was, was definitely, um, that was definitely the reason why. What, what things do you think you need it? You mean coaching wise? I mean, at this stage in my career, you know, any player wants to be coached and wants to be coached hard and wants that feedback. So I think um, Frank does a great job of that. You know, obviously playing a position, you know, is you know, it's all about, you know, you know, the Johnny and Joe's not the X and O's, you know what I mean? So you know, it's just, it's one of those things. When you realized that you know that you wouldn't be playing in Dallas this year, did, was it tough or did you view it as a new opportunity and an exciting next step? Well, I mean, it was uh, definitely viewed it as a as a new opportunity, fresh start for me, um, and you know, get, being able to choose where I got to go was, was huge. How did you think week one went for you? Uh, I think it was. I think it was okay. I think it was solid. Um, you know, I think obviously when I watch the tape, I'm, I'm my, my biggest critic. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I, you know, want to do. Um, I feel like I'm finally getting my football pad legs up under me, and uh, everything is starting to turn over. What was the biggest improvement? Because Brian Callahan was saying that he noticed a big improvement in that second half. What did you feel more comfortable with in the second half as opposed to, like, maybe the first quarter? I mean, obviously, um... Okay. It's not the first time we've heard somebody leave Dallas and then basically trash the Cowboys. You know, Cole Beasley basically said when he got to Buffalo, it was nice that they actually worried about playing football more than the drama that is the Dallas Cowboys. You know, seems like we're more worried about chasing first takes and undisputed and the storylines and things and, and making a whole bunch of money than actually worrying about what's on the field. I mean, the Cowboys, it's a soap opera. It's a reality show. It's a train wreck. And I don't know where this team goes from this point here. Um, it feels like we're going to a funeral at the moment with what's going on with this team and to have Jerry Jones basically say, yeah, th those same fans that are flustered, no, I'm not selling the team. So basically saying, I don't give a rat's ass about what you think. You know, I own the team. I'm going to own the team. And there's nothing you can do about it. And if 
we see fit to run the team the way we're going to run it, we're going to run it the way we want to run it. And you have the option of being here or not being here because they ain't them boys. I'm them boys. And um, I, I wish that Jerry Jones worked as hard on getting the Dallas Cowboys to actually be a Super Bowl champion as he does to get the drama out there. Because he, he you know, if, if he's been working to get this drama, well, he, he's got it. He's got it all. And that's kind of sad all the way around. We have talked about Joe Feeban as an offensive uh, line coach where we still have a team that can't seem to not get penalties. You know, we had 10 penalties this past week. I don't believe any on the defense. Um, coaching does matter. And you look at the digression of the offensive line and the lack of guys being able to go to another level. I'm still mystified that they got rid of uh, Marco Colombo. I know that he wasn't the, you know, get along guy with Jason Garrett and things, but, you know, when he took over from Paul Alexander, who was, you know, hired <laughs> Mr. Ketchup Bottle himself, his whole thing was the intelligence of an offensive lineman by them knowing to tap on the 57. Well, Knowing to tap on the 57 to get the ketchup out is one thing. It's another to be able to block somebody like a TJ Watt coming off the edge. And sometimes we get caught up in the drama and everything else, and we believe the stuff that comes out of Jerry Jones's mouth and stuff and want to believe. We want to believe. But unfortunately, we have been had. We have been had. If this season ends up being a success, it won't be because of Jerry and Stephen Jones. It will be in spite of them. Because the more you look at this, the more you feel like they have actually sabotaged the team. Mike McCarthy basically, meh, on learning the offense because basically told, you know, you're not here to be the offensive coordinator. That's Kellen Moore. If that's the case, Jerry Jones should have just skipped the middleman and said, I'm the head coach. Sad but true. Sad but true. We'll be talking about this in a few hours on our live stream. Hope you join us in at 9 o'clock Eastern. Peace.